One of the things most talked about in search engine optimization these days is how anybody can steal content and rank higher using that content on a UGC site, user-generated content site like Reddit or Quora, rank higher than the original and then place their own products, their own links, whatever they want into that post in order to promote their stuff. That is something that is super highly talked about, super controversial and done quite a lot these days. And so what I'm going to be sharing, it's an experiment about this that was done a while ago. It's from the 21 SEO experiments article that I've been reading on the show recently. 21 SEO experiments that will change the way you think about SEO forever from SEOSherpa.com, SEOSherpa.com forward slash SEO dash experiments. And I've been sharing a lot of these experiments on the show because they're really fascinating, especially the ones about clicks at the beginning. Those are super fascinating. But I also think taking other people's content. Now, this one pretty unethical. It's really stealing, stealing other people's hard work. Very unethical, but also very fascinating. And I want to share it on the show because it's just interesting. Let me even tell you the, the title of this section in the article is juicy itself. The title is you can rank with duplicate content works even on competitive keywords. I mean, how, look, you can rank with duplicate content works even with competitive keywords. How do you not want to hear about that? How do you not want to hear about that? So that is what I'm sharing on today's episode. Here it goes. Full disclosure, what I'm about to share with you may only work for a short while. Turns out it still works. But for the time it does work, boy, does it work like gangbusters. First, the theory. When there are two identical documents on the web, Google will pick the one with higher page rank and use it in the search results. Page rank is basically domain authority. If you want to just see a site's domain authority, you can get the Moz bar. It's a free Chrome extension. It shows any website's domain authority. Domain authority is a zero to 100 score that measures how many backlinks and how many quality backlinks a site has. And that allows a website to rank easier for keywords. When, when there are two identical documents on the web, Google will pick the one with higher domain authority and use it in the search results. It will also forward any links from any perceived duplicate. This one is crazy. It will also forward any links from any perceived duplicate towards the selected main document. What? So the original is just the one that has higher domain authority. Why does it do this? Why does Google pick the cloned document with higher domain authority and forward any links from the perceived duplicate towards the selected main one, this is the one that has higher domain authority? Why does Google do this? Unless there is a valid reason for two or more versions of the same content, only one need exist. And what does that mean for you? It means that if you are creating unique and authoritative content that attracts quality links and shares, you should come out on top. Google will keep your version in the index and point all links aimed at the duplicates to your site. The bad news, for the good guys at least, is this is not always the case. From time to time, a larger, more authoritative site will overtake smaller websites in the SERPs for their own content. So this is from Charles Float. I've shared this before, but it's super relevant to what I'm reading right now. He says, Reddit is outranking you even for your own content because of three different factors, with the last being the one most people in SEO have no idea about. For the last around nine months, Google has been on what feels like a God-given mission to turbocharge UGC signals, user-generated content signals. You see it across the board. Quora is flying, UGC sites and subdomains are being abused for parasite SEO, and even in our industry, one of the smaller forums, Builder Society, has seen a 21% gain. And who are the kings of UGC? It's Reddit. So Reddit increased in the search engine results pages from 80% last year to 5% this year. Not only have user-generated content signals gone through the roof, but Google has doubled down on authority signals since Rolling Penguin was released. This means that most sites with huge link profiles are treated as trustworthy for any niche and able to rank as a generic authority. Link inversion, a signal not many in SEO know about and one that actually the person that uh, Charles Float cites is the person that's also cited in this specific post, did a fantastic case study on several years ago. The concept is easy to understand and this is what we're about to be reading. It doesn't matter who was first to publish content, it matters whoever has the most authoritative page. That is how Google prioritizes content, not on who indexed it first. And you put all three of these things together, Reddit is a powerhouse that can literally outrank you for pages that you created and can rank for SERPs where your site doesn't even match the intent anymore. Is this fair? Absolutely not. Is it because Google is doing a deal with Reddit? Partially. Would this be the case without said deal? Probably not. That is what Charles Float said. 
So, okay, I'm going to finish this post. So this is a person that Charles Float just cited. This is what Dan from Dijon SEO decided to test in his now famous SERP hijack experiment. Using four separate web pages, he tested whether the content could be hijacked from the search results by copying it and placing it on higher page rank pages, which would then replace the original in the SERPs. Here's what happened. In all four tests, the higher page rank copycat page beat the original. All four tests, the page with higher domain authority beat the original. What? In three out of four cases, the original page was removed from the SERPs. Okay, well, that's promising. His tests go on to prove that a higher page rank page will beat a lower page rank page with the same content, even if the lower page rank page is the original source. And even if the original page was created by the former wizard of Moz himself, Rand Fishkin, so he was stealing content from Rand to test this. So the question arises, what can you do to prevent your own content from being hijacked? While there's no guarantee that you can prevent your own hard-earned content from being copied than beaten, Dan offers the following measures which may help to defend you from content thieves. Add a rel canonical tag to your content using the full HTTP colon forward slash forward slash text. So a lot of the most popular page builders and site builders will just do this automatically. If you have Yoast, if you have a WordPress site and you have Yoast, Yoast will do this, just happens automatically. It's now just a best practice with technical SEO. So a lot of these page builders and site builders will put that in automatically. And if you want to remove it, then you toggle it off. But it, it's usually on by default. But you can even check with the uh, with the Moz bar. I think for free, you can even check. Or you can just inspect your page. You can view page source and see that it's there in the HTML. Number two, link to internal pages on your own website. So use your content to link to internal pages on your own website. Number three, add Google authorship markup. Number four, check for duplicate content regularly using a tool like Copyscape. Copyscape is an amazing tool. I use it myself all the time. Copyscape is so good. It's really good for testing duplicate content because I started using it because I was getting guest authors on a lot of my websites and I wanted to make sure that what they were sending me, this was before AI, and I wanted to make sure what they were sending me was not copied from other places because if I was putting copied content on my site, that makes my site look bad. With Reddit, it doesn't really matter. With user-generated content, it doesn't matter as much because that's the users who are doing it. But when it's done on a blog, for example, then that's the webmaster who's who's doing it. Unless it's a well-known publication that has many guest authors, which our site was not at the time. And so this ends, plagiarists beware. Just because you can beat your competitors by stealing their content, it does not mean you should. Not only is it unethical, but downright shady to claim someone else's content as your own, but plagiarism can also land you in trouble. Shortly after running the experiment, Dijon SEO received a warning message inside their Google Search Console account. What? That's crazy. The message cited the djnseo.com.au domain as having low quality pages, an example of which is copied content. Around the same time, one of the copycat test pages also stopped showing in the SERPs for some terms. This forced Dan to remove the test pages in order to resolve the quality issue for his site. So it seems that while you can beat your competitors with their own content, it's definitely not a good idea to do so. So the problem, again, is these user-generated content sites like Reddit and Quora, which is what Charles Float was talking about. And it's a plague, but look, if you're a digital marketer, you should know about this. And that is why I am sharing it on episode 340 of The Edward Show. This is my daily digital marketing, daily growth hacking, daily growth marketing podcast. And it is actually 7.08 a.m. I woke up early because I wanted to come to this park. This is a lovely park that I'm in and they're doing cleaning and I'm about to get kicked out because I'm recording here so early. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. There are people all around me now cleaning the park. Here, let me quickly show you where I am. All right, hopefully my mic doesn't fall as I'm recording this, but it's so cool. I, I want here. This is going to be so hard. This is where I am and it's really cool all around me. And I've just been recording this full time from right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're listening, thank you so much for listening. Hope you found this as fascinating as I did. It's important to know this stuff exists. Protect yourself out there. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.